Today I'll be showing you my favorite tool to colorize images in Photoshop. After watching this video, you should be able to colorize your images just like this one. What's up guys, I am Miles at Miles of Color Everywhere Online. Feels really good to be back in front of the camera. It's been a fat minute. Before we get started, please slam that follow button on the gram, tweet me if you need to reach me, and subscribe to see me thrive. And with that being said, let's uh, hop into Photoshop. Also, I'm refilming this intro because the last one I looked terrible, the lighting was bad, I just looked, I looked gross, you know? I look better at this angle, not, not that one. Okay, let's go. Okay, so today we will be covering two things. One is selective coloring, and two is making selections via layer masks. I'll be showing two examples today. We're gonna start out with this photo of Gabriella Wisdom. It is important for me to note that I will be covering retouching or anything like that. I'm just gonna be talking about the two things that I just talked about, selective coloring and layer masks. If you're a beginner, this video might be a little fast paced for you, but I do have faith in you, you've got this. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below, I try to answer them as often as I can, so don't be intimidated by this process. So we're going to start by opening up our photo in Photoshop. I'm using the 2019 version, but this tool is available in any version. To get an effect similar to the one we're going to have at the end of this edit here, it's gonna help if you have a photo with a green background. Assuming that you've done everything you need to do to get to your coloring stage of your photo, let's go over to our adjustments panel and select selective color, wherever it is, there it is. My goal with this photo is to make the green red, and I'm going to have this red and blue color scheme with the photo. And this is going to take a few separate layers of selective coloring as well. So let's make a group by clicking Command G. Let's name it Coloring. Make sure your selective color is in there. And the next step, we're going to click W, which is our quick selection tool. And we're just going to click and drag around Gabby here or whoever your subject is. I know it's not gonna be Gabby because this is my photo, but click and drag around your subject here. It's going to make a rough selection. Sometimes it's really accurate, but for me, I have a very complicated background and I have foreground elements as well. So we're just going to get it as close as possible here. Once we've made a rough selection, now let's go down to the bottom here and click this icon, which is the add layer mask. Boom, you can see it's not perfect. That is okay, we will fix it. Drag this layer mask, click the layer right here and drag it to your coloring group. Now, it's not going to look like it's doing anything yet. It's very important that we select Command I to invert it. This is making sure that Gabby is selected or your subject is selected and that when we make adjustments to the leaves and stuff, it's not going to change anything on her skin or anything else like that. If you need to make any adjustments to this selection, just click B and that is your brush tool. Make sure you're selecting right here on the layer mask and you can just like paint around to have the selection perfected here. So I'm just going to do that. You do that for yourself and let's meet back up here and start messing with our colors. Okay, selective coloring number one. My goal is to turn green yellow here. So let's just mess around with our yellows and see what we can do. So let's see. A lot of this is going to be you just messing around and seeing what you can do here. Um, that's really where all of the effects are going to come to play. You can already see there's like a little bit of warmness popping out. Let's select our greens now. And greens are kind of primarily all around here, so I'm really gonna have to do some harsh adjustments to make sure that they change. Let's drag all the way over here, see what happens. There we go. Drag to the right. Drag to the right. And then I'm also seeing some cyans here on the leaves, so we're gonna have to adjust our cyans as well. Cool, so there's the before and after so far. We're already getting to our yellows. Now I'm going to make another selective coloring layer, and I the goal here is to make the yellows just more yellow and vibrant. Okay, so for yellows, let's go like negative 50. Ooh, that's already getting a nice pop, kind of an orange pop. Let's go around like 10, 12 over here. Let's do right to the 50 just to see what happens, and then just like make the color a little bit deeper here. If you adjust the black slider, it makes the color either really light or really dark. It's a very powerful tool. Those are the greens. And of course, I already know the adjustments that I want to make, but I'm just kind of showing you 
what you can do with this tool here and see science I see a little bit left here let's try to get them out just a little bit cool all right there's the before and after let's do the before and after this whole layer already it looks pretty dope and we're gonna do a little bonus thing this is going to be a hue and saturation layer I'm using this to really force evenness when it comes to my colors so I'm just going to select yellow up here I'm going to drag my hue to about 30 ish Ooh, yeah, see, now we're getting that red that I wanted. And the saturation down just a little bit for now. 20, now let's mess with the greens as well. Before and after that, that looks good, right? That's going for that red tone that we're looking for. And now we're gonna make our final selective color layer right here, the last one. And this one's going to make the reds pop and it's going to oversaturate them, which is definitely the look that I like to go for. It's a personal preference, so you do whatever you wanna do, but this is how I achieved it in this image right here. So let's go to our reds. We'll drag over here a little bit to make them more vibrant. And like I said, this is really just kind of figuring out what, you know, just like mess with all these sliders and really just figure out what they're gonna do for your image. Cool, there we go. Let's mess with our yellows a little bit. I'm sure there's still some in there. Cool, and then our cyans and blues, let's like make them pop. So our cyans, we're gonna pull to the right because I wanna like make this area pop a bit more. Cool, and here's the before and after of this. Boom, boom. That is crazy, right? That is so powerful, such a powerful tool in Photoshop. Let's do one more example here. I'm gonna make green purple. So let's assume you made your selection and everything already. Let's just go in here and make our first selective color and let's make our group as well. Remember, Command G, we're gonna name this coloring. And let's just get started right here. So this first step is I'm going to make the green cyan. I usually always start in yellow here. The greens are primarily in the background, so we're really gonna do some harsh stuff to the greens. Let's pull all the way here, pull all the way here, all the way here, make them a little darker as well. Perfect, let's make another layer. So that's what we just did so far. We're really bringing up the color of the greens. This next one is going to achieve a deep color. You'll see what I mean. So let's go back to our yellows here. Negative like 60, 15-ish, negative 40. And then let's mess with our greens one more time. Remember, like, really harsh adjustments if you want to change your greens because they're very strong colors. Cool, now we have this kind of like nice cyan looking color here going on. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Our next selective color is going to make this a deep blue. So once again, let's mess with our greens. Let's just hop in here, let's pull to the right, pull to the right, maybe pull to the left. Cool, and then let's mess with our science. It sounds like I'm saying science. Let's go like 20 and 100, then maybe like negative like 90. Dope. And keep in mind, this is not a perfect selection. I'm well aware of that, but this is just to show you coloring and make your selection on your own time. I made it on my own time as well, but this is just for coloring. So let's do one more and we're gonna make everything purple now. So one more selective color. Let's mess with our greens. Let's pull everything to the right. Check this out. And then let's mess with our blues. It's like negative 90. Ooh, see, we're already getting it. 95, pull the right a little bit, like 15, 20, left a little bit, and then 40. Cool, and like I said, selection, not perfect, but we're just trying to change the background here, and that's what we're gonna start with, and we would color everything else in the image, and that is how to use the selective coloring tool 
in Photoshop. Okay guys, so that was my favorite tool to colorize images in Photoshop. Selective color comes in clutch every single time. I love her, we love her. Make sure to like the video, comment something you'd like me to cover in the next video, something you'd like to learn, something specific like coloring images or bleh, something, something, I don't know, or anything at all, whatever you want. How to make pasta, it doesn't matter. And subscribe to see new videos weekly. Okay, love you guys. See you in the next one, bye.